when you use selfish, generally you mean inconsiderate, you know, stepping yeah. on other people, not caring about others. I don't believe in that. I don't do that myself. I spend most of my life in the service of other people. But it's because if you love yourself, you can, you can give love away. If you, if you can't give away what you don't have. If you don't feel okay, good about it. that's you. step one. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Hmm. Number two. It's like going out and practicing, you know, uh, really standing up for the things. You know, somebody's out there... Uh, you mean go practice being insulted? <laughs> <laughs> if it's necessary, but, but it isn't necessary. It's, you know, I have a thing called being quietly effective, John. And it's like, you know, a lot of people misconstrue their goals in life. They pull into a gas station, all right, and they want their windshield washed. The guy is too busy, he doesn't care, he's not interested, he doesn't wash your windshield. This person who wants his windshield washed forgets his goal. It's just to have a windshield washed. That's all. He now says, I'm going to reform that guy. How dare he treat me that way? Who does he think? And, he's gonna... and this guy's behavior is suddenly controlling them emotionally. And your goal is just to simply say, look, would you mind washing my windshield? You don't have to give a lecture. If the guy says, look, I'm too busy, you say, well, now I'm going to talk to the manager or whatever. You know, you go on to the next step. Or you get out and wash it yourself if yeah. necessary. But you don't allow other people's behavior to be the controlling thing of your emotions in your life, whether that's that clerk there or whether it's your husband or your children well, you or said, whatever. Well, you said something about explanation. What about people that feel like they've got to give a long, drawn-out explanation with a thousand they, reasons yeah. and excuses? For they become victims, you know, and then somebody at the end, you know what they'll say? I just don't understand you. Yeah. I don't, oh, my God, he doesn't understand <laughs> me. I better, stay, no, I better go back and I better start washing his underwear. What about confident versus cocky? I mean, confident versus insulting. I yeah. mean, is there the, a fine line? Do you have to learn, relearn a, the, that? The, the, the very specific line, confident means standing up for what you believe. Cocky or abusive or conceited means trying to convince other people of how terrific you are. If you run your life on your inner signals, you don't have any need to show anybody else how great you are. If you're confident, you just simply do it. If you want another amazing young Wayne Dyer video, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. What happens to you in your life is you live your life inside. Yeah. And it isn't what people do to you, it's how you react to what people do to you that makes the difference between you being a fully functioning per uh, person or a victim.